probate without a will. Hi, my name is Lynn St. Louis and I'm an estate planning and elder law attorney. Now, you may think that probate is a terrible, awful thing and to be avoided at all costs. And frankly, sometimes that is true. Hopefully it's not true in your case. If you have heard the term probate, you're thinking, well, I'm gonna avoid probate because I have a will. Frankly, no, you're not gonna avoid probate because you have a will. The only way you avoid probate is you set things up to avoid probate in advance. Oftentimes, if you have a will, your estate plan has been set up to go through probate. Probate is the legal process to administer a deceased person's estate. So a will often will mean that there is going to be a probate. Doesn't have to be, but oftentimes that's the case. Well, what if there is no will? Doesn't that mean that you're avoiding probate because there's no will? Again, we get back to the same question. Was there an estate plan set up to avoid probate? And if there is no will, my bet is that there is no estate plan at all. And if there's no estate plan at all, it is far more likely that there will be a probate. And then you might think, well, how can there be a probate? There's no will. Well, just because there's no will doesn't mean that there's no statutes to say what's going to happen. So if there is no will and there's no estate plan set up to uh, avoid a probate, there will be a probate. You're going to say, well, then what's going to happen? There's no will to say what happens. The state will have its own set of laws as to what is going to happen. There's no will, but there will be a probate action that will need to be opened to administer this estate. Who's going to get, who, who's supposed to serve as a personal representative? Nobody's named. You're right. So there is a statutory order of who has priority to serve. Usually if there's no will, it's going to be who's the most interested person. Who's the most interested person? Probably the person that thinks that they should inherit the estate. If it's a situation where it's a married couple, then there may need, there may be no probate even without there being no estate plan. But that's a different discussion. Um, if everything is titled jointly, then perhaps there's no need for a probate even without a will. But let's take a single person. They have no will, but they have assets. Maybe they have a house and bank accounts, etc. Well, if you are one of the two kids that, you know, mom's died now and there's two children and you're one of them, you're likely going to see a lawyer and find out, hey, what am I supposed to do? What am I, how am I supposed to receive these assets? Um, either, you know, sell the house, divide them up or whatever. So you're gonna need to see an attorney most likely. The laws of intestacy provide that a single person, if they have two kids, then the estate will be divided equally between those two children. And even if you thought your mom's favorite, it doesn't make any difference. The law says it is going to go equally to those two children. So there definitely and often is a probate when there is no will. My best recommendation to you if you are in the situation is see an estate planning and elder law attorney. Actually, better suggestion is before you get to that point, you talk to your loved ones. Do they have an estate plan in place? You are not being greedy or you know overstepping your bounds to say, hey mom, have you done your estate planning? I wanna make sure that you're taken care of, you're protected, everything is in order and everything is easier for whatever life may bring. Uh, if you approach it in the right way, you might help your loved ones get to a point where there doesn't need to be a probate at all or if there is going to be a probate there's going to be one because there's a good reason and it's going to be under a very well set out estate plan that a lawyer did for you and things are going to be so much easier. Mm -hmm.